sure that I am not under these hoofs and I need to speed up because I'm right now the last cow. We humans are group living apes. One of our specialties is that we live in very large groups. I always wondered what it's like not to be a primate but an ungulate and live in a large group. And this morning, on my bicycle cycling into Oxford, I had a chance of experiencing going with the herd. I always wondered what it's like to be part of a migration, to be one of the herd animals. A lot of my research is about collective behavior, but of course, in primates rather than in ungulates. I feel part of this moving herd. They tolerate me and I'm just going on my bicycle with them. So there's something very anonymous about being with these animals because I don't think these cows know each other one by one. Uh, it's not like a group of chimpanzees bonobos or humans who of course have their individual relationship with each other we are now part of a herd and hence our collective action is much more like a coordinating a direction uh, like a flock of uh, birds or a school of fish and not like a group of chimpanzees going out for a hunt and maybe while you are with me on this bicycle, you can as well feel the acceleration as we start picking up speed a little bit and running a little faster. That was wonderful. I feel your cows. <laughs> Thank you. What I learned from this experience this morning running with the cows is that we primates are not that different from ungulates in the acceleration of moving together. I mean, I felt my hormones spritz filtering out of my ears as we started to speak up. There was a little bit of fear, a little bit of excitement of running together with the herd. And the fact that you feel it as well is evidence that we are group living apes. The Human Bee series is about understanding who we are as a species so that we can equip ourselves to take responsibility for the planet. Because if we humans are not going to do that, there's nobody else who's going to save the biosphere. If you'd like to be part of this conversation, please subscribe here now.